So just a little recap on this. Um, we said that the top of our arch would be there, the Florentine. So we've got 600 diameter bullseye. So 300 is roughly where that nut and bolt is. Uh, that is going to be where we put our timber on. So you can see we need another uh, about three course on here um, to, uh, to enable us to get our timber across and then our trammel to arc the cut that we need to get the, the bottom ring in. So I'm going to carry on just taking the back up to, to this height for now and then I'll cut the next two sides of the coin which is just the, the nine inch block. So we'll do that and then we'll go get a bit of timber, put it across, put it down and then we can mark out for cutting all these bricks. And then from there, we can, uh, we'll go back onto the drawing board then, onto a bit of ply, because we will mark all this out, we'll work all the arch out and work out all the cuts for this as well. But at the moment, there's enough softness, take the two ends up, get the trammel set and get them all first cut. So that's what we'll do. Very dusty. Nice part. Next bed. And these are quite tight on here, being Imperials. Just a little wiggle. And I've uh, been playing around with this mix, trying to get it as close as I can to that original 200 pound, sorry, 200 year old mortar um, that we had. And this is probably the closest I've got. And this is nearly a 1-1 mix. We're just slightly stronger than a 1.5 to 1 mix. So um, that original stuff was good stuff. I have to report at the moment that it still hasn't uh, gone off sufficiently. But again, I think it's probably because of the cooler, damp conditions of this time of year. Just do a double check. Quite happy. And I've now got sticky mortar and my perps aren't sticking. Very lovely mortar. Yeah, this is probably the closest I've got to um, the mortar um, of that original that we had. Right, this is just the back wall. So I'm just um, taking this up. Obviously, the one in front is going to be the circular ramp that we do on it, or the bottom of the bullseye and then obviously we'll put halves round on there we'll probably do what well, the idea is to have a stretcher there then halves come around and then another uh, full brick there and full brick there and from that we'll bring the arch up so that's the plan that we have
Okay, so we've got both ends, the back, uh, up to height. Uh, you can see this is where we just roughly sketched out or measured out um, where the top of the arch was going to be. So this was the underside. So this is, um, well, the centre part uh, of where we're going to pivot from for our bullseye. So we'll find the centre of the opening and uh, we'll just um, put our piece of wood on the top. Um, what we'll do as well is we'll just mark with a pencil exactly where this is just in case at some point this shifts a little bit we just want to make sure we get it back in the right place so the uh, first thing we'll do is just like put two little pencil marks two little arrows at these points um, and then obviously we'll uh, start by um, putting our trammel on and we'll get it to obviously the right diameter and uh, then we'll be able to see where we're swinging around to start cutting the bullseye. Okay, so first things first. I'm just going to set the up a little bit better. Right there. So pencil mark here. And pencil mark here. Now, some of you may have seen on one or two of the other um, videos I've done, to find the centre, sometimes if you look there, well, that's not too bad. We are, well, it's a few millimetres under 1900. So the way I like to do it is, from that side, I'm just going to measure, I'm going to say 1050. And then I'm going to come this way, 1,050. Oh, quite a way, okay. <laughs> 1,050 as well, which is there. Then all I have to do is half that. I find that personally, the easiest way for me is about 200. So, 100 mil, there's my centre. So that is where we will pivot our channel from. So, we've now got our centre support through. I'll put this piece of timber on the bottom because obviously we want to get a screw in there. So we need something solid obviously to fix to. So, the way we're going to do this is we want a 600 diameter. So the diameter of our um, bullseye is going to be from the end of the tape there to 600 here. So that means the centre is 300. So if this is our centre point where we're going to spin from. We want 300 to the inside plus we want the brick to go round plus we want a joint on there so this brick is 110 so these do vary a little bit 110 is kind of like the average one sometimes um, we do get some that are about 112 and put that on the look These are all around about 110 at the moment, so we will go for 110. So from that point, this is other way. From the point, we know we've got 300. We know we've got 110 on top of that. Plus, we want another joint as well. And our joints, we try to keep them to seven to eight mil. So. We'll have a nice tight joint all around the, the actual bullseye. So that, that's the space inside. This would be the brick and that would be the joint. All bit the other way around. But that's just to get our position for our screw. So we'll put a screw in there. Put it in the centre there. And then that will be the bottom of the, the cut. So when we um, pivot this round from here, all the bricks will cut into that and then the halves will go 
ground, and then we'll have our 300 core for our bullseye. So I've just marked this one like so. Because it's the, like the longest one, it's the one that's going to have uh, the moose curve in it. Obviously, as the cups start going up, they become straighter and straighter. So this one, if, you were to, if I was to cut this with my cutter, um, obviously I'm not going to get that curve on it. So the best way to do it would be the old style way with a, a nice 60mm bolster, which is what I'll do. I'll cut this side with the bolster and then I'll just cut the back off with the car. So to do that, I've already done one. This part here you can see there's no no depth to it so I won't really hit this one too hard but you can see here there's um, the full thickness of the brick through there so I'll need to hit more there to get the, um, the break through there. So just a few gentle taps here then a bit harder then harder still and we'll be back. this a few times you see it's cracked there already without hardly really hitting that side so that's the curve that I want so now I can just run the cutter through there obviously just below that a little bit and uh, that will give me enough to um, get my bed on it just there Once you've laid it, then just uh, do your check to make sure you're happy with that, and that looks just right. I've got this piece of wood, and I want to get this measurement here, right to our centre point there. So, what I'm doing is I got this piece of wood, and I just kept bringing it round. Kept marking it around like this, obviously a little bit more accurate how I'm doing it. And I came to that point there, which is obviously just down in the same line as what my striking line is there. And then what I did then was I put it on the ground, just show you a bit closer, and then transferred that stick. down to here and then I evened out all these um, axe bricks that I've um, done between the two points from there to there. Space them out evenly, when I was happy with them I then transfer all these tight joints, not the wedge part here, onto my little gauge rod now and what I then do is I will chase this around again So what I'll do now is I will take this back now with the gauge marks on it and as I chase it around this time, obviously I'll do it more accurately than this, but I'll just keep marking my gauge on the edge so when I come to lay these I've got gauge marks to go to on each one and I'll also be radiating to my centre point as well.
So there's the first part of the bullseye. And we're just fractionally over like halfway. Um, and as we said before, the top of the bullseye will be the Florentine arch. And then we have got something a little bit different to put in the middle. Um, that's what I call the bullseye core, that middle piece where obviously the uh, template is in there at the moment. So next time we come back we will set out the arch over the top of the bullseye and get that done. And then when it's um, hardened up a little bit we should be safe to take the centre out of there and then we will do the core.